Alright, ready? Good. You already know what it is, your boy D Rug, aka the Magnificent Asshole. Welcome to another motherfucking episode of the Arrogant Assholes. We are back, and I'm with my co hosts. Yeah, you know, Gabby, if you so good, the only lady, but still the realest nigga in the room. But you just gonna come out like that? We ain't, we ain't been on about a, about we was on vacation and shit. I know, we been what? It's been like two years, right? I mean, yeah, maybe it's I been was. forever. Nah, it's been about a month. But we back. Why yeah, we, we late or something? We wasn't going no motherfucking well. Right. We had to take a break, but we got a special guest in the building tonight. One of the hottest DJs in the motherfucking city doing this motherfucking thing. Man, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody, man. Uh, you already know Sample, Florida. I rip my city wherever I go. Whole key. DJ Pat, I'm here fucking with the, what is it? The every day. Assholes. assholes. Yep. I'm here tonight. I right, that's know. what it is. That's what so it you is. from Sanford? Sanford, Florida. Yes. Goldsboro, 13th Street. You grew up here? Right there. I know right. a couple people from Sanford. Who you know what's saying? <laughs> yeah. You know Hey. Okay. So how you got started DJing? Because you like, you, you really get down on the turntables. Like, was you... One of the jam pony type DJs, or real scratching and mixing, like. Um, how I actually started, I was locked up with one of my partners, and he was telling about the club scene. You know, when you're in jail, it's only two yeah. things. Two things you can be, you can be all you can be in there. So, it's I'm listening to him saying it, but I'm like, nah, this nigga lying. He ain't really doing all this. So, when I got out, he called me. The first day I got out, took me straight to the club. Uh. What club? Um, we call it the bar, the dirty flow, the dirty wavy. Flow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Dirty flow, okay. dirty flow. Okay. I go in brick flows everywhere. Like, okay. Brick no, floors? Brick flow lane. No. The bitches wear heels in there? You ain't never been there. You, you ain't never been there. Been there. there. You got to cross the railroad track. I've been to the bar. Yeah, that's the bar. The bar's pretty fun. That's the bar. That's the bar. Why up, you? up now, but now nah, that's our club now. So oh, okay, we talking okay. about before, real, right? Real, real yeah, start. Yeah. So my dog, he was a DJ, DJ Slick Bo. Mm. I'm sitting there, and he was like, "Hey, bro, I'm finna go to the bathroom. When the next song come on, just push play." I'm like, "All right." So that happened, and then by the time the song go off, he ain't came back yet. So I'm like. Just pushing buttons and I've learned it. So the night got over with. He ended up going back to jail. He went outside and did something. And I was like, Seminole County took him in. Damn. And so I'm like, damn. And then I went home and laid down and thought about it and woke up the next day, got on the internet. What does a DJ mean? How can I start Get the fuck out of here. And yeah. Are you self-taught? Yeah, self-taught. Well, he showed me yeah, one button, yeah. the play button. And I kind of. So you didn't panic at all. I would panic. When the song went over, everybody looking at me like, "Who is this nigga?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm yeah, like, yeah. "What the fuck? I don't know what to do. I can't walk away." You're supposed to say, "Ever, ever, ever." That's what I mean. It wasn't that then. It was, oh. just, it was, it was CD. So yeah. I don't know how to. Oh, he said push play. So I'm like, yeah. "Man," then I just hit play and played the same song from before. Shit. <laughs> you, know, with, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. When I leave the club, though, I call him like, man, where he at? He go right back to jail. So that would make me like, well, I can do that. You know, people dancing. And I wasn't even supposed to be in the club, to be yeah. honest. You know, I, I wasn't old enough to even be in the club. Yeah. And I, he snuck me in and I liked it. So I used to, I said, I got to do this. So what, how did you learn? So you ne you bought the equipment and that's how you learned how to start doing like how you build your skills no, up. I, I actually didn't buy the equipment. Um, I have. Uh, she just took his. He went to jail anyway. No, that was actually the club. So. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, I I actually went to uh what is it rental center Aaron. Mm -hmm. I didn't have no money. I mm -hmm. rented up. <clears throat> I was doing that little nineteen twenty dollars a week mm -hmm. process. Got a computer. And I couldn't pay it one time, and they just came and took their shit back. <laughs> so they caught you, you got how you let them catch you? Man, they went to send stuff on my jails. Yeah. That's just a threat. They're not gonna do it. Uh, you you got no level of no Shit, I'm like, hell no, I just got out of there. Fuck it, like, take it. Yeah, I don't never open the door. Not ever. I look out the window at them motherfuckers. Still, you got to give them your real address. 
Damn. You have to. Yeah, you yeah. have to. Yeah, you do. They looking at the ID. Y'all gotta get with the scammers. I have nothing to do with that. Help you out though. But um, then I actually called one of my partners, which is my sponsor now, Mario, with Off the Chain Tone. And I told him I needed it, and it was gonna like blow me up, and we gonna we gonna eat. And he was like, "Man, that MacBook costs this amount." Of I said, "Bro, I need it." And he put the money up, got me a MacBook, and. I took off from there and I started going to clubs and watching other DJs and asking them, can I actually DJ for free? They don't have to pay me, I just want to, mm -hmm. they're telling me no, so okay, I go back home, get in my closet and just start working, just start working, just start working. <laughs> getting music, reaching out to artists, getting drunk. For one of the first people I reached out to, I remember with Lucci, mm -hmm. before he got popping and I asked him for a drop. He sent it back to me, so I'm like, okay, now this gonna really start cosigning. And God bless the dead, uh, a dude from my city named Phil. He gave me the opportunity, and I just took off from there and started going to Daytona. So, That's where like was my your second first, home. Where was your first club that you DJed by yourself, like on your first set? Shakers, Shakers and Sanford. That was another club, um, uh, one of our nightclubs, and he actually gave me the. The green light, like here. He asked me one night, one of his DJs couldn't make it. And he asked me, did I want to do it? And I was like, yeah. At the end of the night, he was like, how much I owe you? I'm like, bro, just give me $60. He like, $60? <laughs> he like, no, I ain't gonna give you no 60. He gave me a couple hundred. I'm like, whoa, I can really make this to a career. But me personally, I first got into it. I wasn't really into I was really into it. The party, the girls, mm -hmm. you know. I don't drink, so I just see people popping bottles. I want to pop bottles, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I was into it for the fame. Then once I started learning the business aspect, I'm, I can make me some money with it. Yeah. So what you go for now? <laughs> <laughs> um, it all depends on the, the, event. the event, where it's at. But Have you DJed in any like Orlando clubs or? Kill, Beecham, uh, Lit, shout out to Melo. Uh, Kaki Khan, Intervision, Buddha. Shout out to all the promoters, you know, in Orlando. But I don't do Lux. We can take it back to Lux. A lot of the clubs, though. I don't DJ in all the probably the hood trap ratchet club. You know? Okay, okay. So how do you how you end up being the official DJ for Mook Boy? To be honest, me and Mook were neighbors, and. He used to be outside on the porch, rapping late night. Yeah. I used to be outside on my laptop, and we started talking. He asked me, hey, Jay, you know me? I was kind of buzzing. <laughs> I was kind of buzzing, too. So I say, nigga, you know me? Yeah. <laughs> and he like, no, who are you? And I'm like, who are you? He said, Moop. And I said, Pat. And we just neighbors. Yeah. But what really got us closer, deeper than the rap is, uh, of course, incarceration. I'm coming out, he going in. Yeah. Hey, I asked the CEO, uh, hey, open the door, let me give my dog my sack, I'm finna go home. He let me give me give he let me give my my whole sack I gave to him as I'm going home. We just bonded the brother. So it's kinda deeper than the rap, but he is a good rapper, you yeah. know, so and that's how we bonded, but I got my other artists I DJ for Boss Man JD, mm -hmm. out to my um, Rondo, Free Rondo, he from Sanford, Golden Boy from D Land, and Moot, of course, my main artists. So you, you basically you got all the trap rappers, you got all the hot trap niggas right now. I ain't gonna lie, that trap is what really pay all the bills. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's official. You you one of the new school DJs? Yeah. Yeah. My, um, I came up, but I ain't gonna lie, I came up under like Disco, Sir Night Train, um, DJ Squirrel, mm -hmm. all of them from yeah. my area. Well, it's Train from Orlando, but we all used to be in, at the barn, so, mm -hmm. and I came up and they really molded me and just used to always tell me, boy, you up next. I'm just, like I said, I was into it for just partying, hanging out, mm -hmm. having a good time, smoking. 
I, get, I don't gotta pay to come in the club no more. Yeah. I don't gotta pay to drink. And I drink cranberry juice all night. So I get to drink yeah, cranberry yeah. juice all night long. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, they on train really, really, really. I can say what molded me because when I fucked up. He'll come up there and snatch me. You you done for the night? No, I'm like, what? <laughs> the club just getting right. You done for the night? What's the fuck, fuck up that? for a DJ though? It's the little things that the people don't know and hear, but the DJ, the DJ, you know. Oh. So I can catch it. By the time I catch it, you guys yeah, drunk. And, yeah. So y'all don't really be paying no attention. But I keep hearing me up there fucking up. I ain't mixing right. My scratch is messing up. Oh, yeah, you oh, oh, I'm even playing a hot song to her. You know, I want to, yeah. I want to, it's 40 people in the club, so I want them to let them know Pat up here. So <laughs> I'm going to drop the hottest song <laughs> at 12 o'clock. And that What's was it. What's the hottest song right now, you think, that you're spinning? City Girls. Oh, that act up? Act up. Yeah, they got it. fucking problem, man. I ain't gonna lie, even dudes being that joke. Yeah, that's you know, so I, I feel I feel better now that Lil Yachty wrote it. Yeah. Cause I, I I was just like, oh shit, I ain't gotta feel like a bitch no more saying yeah, that shit. Right. Like, Cause I like that damn song, man. That Wait, shit all in the motherfucker. Let me hear you. Let me hear you spit something from that. I'm laughing at you. You know right that? <laughs> but you, you know I've been that? hey, you know I've been campaigning for the city girls since day I don't one. know. I'm like still on the on the with the city girls kind of. I like, like them. Like, they got they got. They got I'm a Trina type of girl, so you know, I'm like, not like but them. But you you can't go wrong with Trina. Real shit. These hoes talking about scamming ass niggas. This is what it is right now. Oh, That's why that shit is so popular. I'm not, finna, I'm not finna say that shit out loud. But the day I found out Yachty wrote that shit, I felt so relieved. Why did he come out and just say that? Why did he come out in the beginning and say that? He I mean, didn't get the time. Yeah, let them get their glory. Yeah, he can get paid regardless. I just was like, oh shit, okay. But I let him. Yachty is the one with the red hair, with the braids. Mm -hmm. yeah. What song? The Broccoli song? That's his song? He got a couple of them. Yeah, that's one of his songs. Yeah, I think he had Broccoli. He got a couple of songs. Oh, okay. Me, I deal with them, but I, I listen to them, but in the club, in the type of club I be doing, we don't really play with Yachty and stuff. You play Beyonce? No. This is all trap shit. If it's Beyonce a, gets a trap fucking song. If it's, if it's like trap song early yeah. in the club, you know, like if I'm DJing the whole night, cause I am nine, nine times ten, they book me. I I, I don't get on to one o'clock. Mm -hmm. I can do all night, but the promoters just want me to come in for that one hour, right. do my thing, and go home. But if it's a fight break out, I throw on something like the calm down. No, you gotta play Get Me Body. Put that nigga for this for me and play it one time. Hold on. So that's what y'all do when niggas start fighting. Y'all put on some I shit, like man, call these niggas. Hello, mate. Quick. LMA, drop <laughs> LMA or something, you gotta get them. So that's why all them goddamn fight videos in the club, you hear a slow song pop off yeah. in the back of that bitch. It don't work, them niggas still be funny. <laughs> still be funny, <laughs> right? But I try to get their minds right. Hey, let me deal with my ladies real quick. Yeah. But other than that, um, I say that's, we play, I play that type of music too, if something happens. But most of the time they want me to get up there and play a trap song. And I deal with a lot of street, street guys. You know, so I want, they want to hear all that Jeezy, throwback Jeezy. They want to hear. They listen to all the new stuff, but when you play that uh, throwback and trap stuff, they going in their pockets. Mm -hmm. And shoot, I, I want them to spend every dollar because the girls tip me. Yeah. So the more you throw at them, the more I get at the end of the night. You know, oh, so. the bartenders tip you out. The dancers. Oh, the dan. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, oh, so you, you work at the club? Work at Strip club? club? Yeah. I work. Yeah. Um, I done done Cleo's before, but. Pinups of Daytona, like my main strip club. I'm I there. haven't been there yet. I have to go there. I've been here. Pinups of Daytona. Um, I just did Pinups in Palm Bay, so I'll be really moving around. But I like the strip clubs because I'm gonna get paid from uh, the club. I get paid from the dancers. The uh, people coming there want to hear their song. So that's what I'm just that's, that's what, like, do, really good, do you go in there and like test out songs and shit? Like say yeah. Luke sing you some shit and you be like, let me go try this shit in the club. Like first of all, I I listen to it before I even like put it on my computer. I'm listening to it at the house or listen to it on my phone and see if it's, it's something I really like. Like because that's my brother and I tell him straight up, hey, that ain't it, bro. And Mook ain't the type of person to be like, bro, this is my son. This is my all right, bro, you say that ain't it, that ain't it. You know, he gonna go cook up something else. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my artists is like that too, because if if I say that's not it, I'm not gonna play it. Like, yeah. if I don't like it, 
that's what, that's what I'll be telling artists too. Like, they be putting so much pressure on us. Like, our job, we break records, but our job is really to keep the people in, entertained. Because if we just sitting up, just playing anything, they're going to be like, what is he playing? I hate when DJs do that. You see? You see what I'm saying? I'll be like, oh, it's a fucking right? local nigga. Jeez. But ain't, it's nothing wrong with it. It's a time and place, but... By the time I get on, if I be just playing all that, it, the people gonna be mad at me, and now the person that's paying me, bro, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> I didn't pay you to come in and break records all night. Yeah, but that people. moment happened to you before? Yes, <laughs> And sometimes I be having pressure on me, they coming in, Pat, I got 150, 200. Just play the chorus. God damn. You take it? What? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll play you right now. Yeah, but yeah. it's- I don't give a fuck who mixed in with this shit. What if it's your Haitian boy with the happy birthday, so you, you don't oh, listen to that shit in the club. Hey, you know what? That's a good question. So, so all right, check it. So you in the motherfucking club, right? <laughs> Boom, club jumping. Nigga walk up on you, he like, look, man, I'll give you a rap just to play my song right now. But this shit is like pure fucking garbage. garbage. It's just garbage, just complete garbage. Do you play it? A band. Do you take that money and play it or what? Nine times a ten. I ain't gonna lie to you now. That bitch going on. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That Are bitch... you gonna let the crowd decide? <laughs> <laughs> that bitch it's going on for a band. I ain't gonna lie. To you, man. <laughs> it yeah, 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 like I'm a, but I'm. You know, we got we got headphones so I can listen to it, and I'm already thinking, okay. He might get 45 seconds of this motherfucker, but I'm gonna let him know, like, bro, I can get 45 seconds or something. That's a long time, it's not That's a long time. Give you a minute. You hear what you're saying. Nah, minute. Nine times ten, if you, if you don't catch a person on a song within the first 15 to 30 seconds, they like, about next. It. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Next. So, you got people's um, mind span is not really long anymore. So Hell no. Nah, you gotta catch them. I'm, I'm, my, my mind is even like that now. Yeah. Like to certain shit. Like mine certain is too. Like I, I be going through so. I listen to so much music me from too, so many too. people. Like if it don't catch me, so I might come back to it. But mm -hmm. you know, right now you gotta have a catchy hook, a beat, and you gotta be like. Mm -hmm. So what know, does DJ Pat listen to in the car? Ninety four point five. Really? Yeah, not a 4.5. Who had like, I get tired, I get, sometimes I get tired of you know, all that trap music. <laughs> but now they play, they play trap music. Cardi but, B was on that. Okay, well, I mean as in, like, that like by the time I'm going to work, they not playing all that trap Oh, like in the morning? So, like JoJo? No, like at night, you know. Oh, at night, okay. So, Quite right strong. now they on the key sweat and all that, so I listen to that. And now it's time 10, or I'm on my phone, promoters calling me, telling me they got somebody want to perform, what's my email, so. If I'm not listening to the radio, I'm on the phone. But I say I listen to, I like R&B when I'm not in the club. As soon as I get in the club, here we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, you get, yeah. you get old. Well, no, I don't get old. It don't get old, it's just, I just like R&B too. Sometimes you gotta take a break because I listen to a lot of like, 90% of my music I listen to.